What if I told you there was a reason for it all? What if I told you it was done on purpose? What if I told you that those who were corrupting the world, poisoning our food, and igniting conflict were themselves about to be permanently eradicated from the earth? You might think that an idealistic fantasy. Well, let me tell you a story. We acknowledge there are criminals, of course. They rob your house, they steal your phone, they can murder you too if they think they can get away with it. We have all experienced criminals in one way or another. Criminals. Morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I played that little quote unquote tinfoil hat or conspiracy lead in for a specific reason. Many people think that's propaganda. Many people believe it. <clears throat> I'm going to try to be nice to Nick's site over on No Ideas Media today with some facts. Nick never presents facts. He never puts anything in the description to verify what he's saying. I'm going to show Nick something. He just did something the other day. Six farming myths people should stop doing. Every single one's a lie. And look in the description, ladies and gentlemen. Look in the link description. There's links to everything that prove what I'm saying. First and foremost, we can, uh, uh, let's start with number one. <clears throat> says GMOs are bad. That's not true. He says GMOs are okay. It's safe. They use less pesticides and herbicides. That's a bold-faced lie, Nick. The numbers prove that since GMOs have been introduced to farming Insecticide herbicide use has increased 15-fold. That's a 15-time increase. We're using 290 billion, a million tons of glyphosate per year when GMOs were introduced under the ruse. We'll use less of our number one selling product. We're going to use less of our number one selling product. They were using about 20 tons a year. 20 million tons a year. Now we're using like almost 300. Let's get real, dude. Where are you getting your numbers? Maybe you need to go back to school. Uh, uh, your math teacher. Uh, uh, get, get, get a refund for your college education. Number two. Factory farming is okay. Factory farming is crap. It pollutes the dirt. I'm not even going to get into everything. Farming was never meant to feed the world from Kansas. Period. It's not a sustainable program. Dress the duck any way you like. Number three, uh, you just had to get Donald Trump involved in the myth. He's been our president for two years. Get a grip, pal. If anybody hates anybody, it's Bush because he allowed Monsanto et al. carte blanche in the food supply. Number four, Subsidies. Another lie, Nick. Corn alone, $106 billion since GMO corn has been introduced on the market. That's the subsidy number. It's approximately, uh, one of the links will show you, last year alone, corn farmers on an average were subsidized uh, like almost $2 million a piece. They're not subsidizing? Crap, they're not. Number five, labor. B.S. Look, I lived in California for 25 years, and our biggest problem was going to a company that had 25 Mexicans working at it on two Social Security numbers. Don't tell me there is not an illegal labor issue going on in farming. That's a lie, Nick. Number five. That was your labor, excuse me. Number six. I want you to look at this, Nick. I want you to look at this water right here. You see that these lemons? They've been soaking overnight in water. Look at that color, Nick. That's not from me. That's from the pesticide residue on the frickin' lemons. He said that The food is not drenched in pesticides and antibiotics. That's a lie, Nick. That's a lie. And here's why it's a lie. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let's use a common sense approach to something here, okay? We're going to take 
7 million chickens and put them in a building. Not one of them is going to get sick. Not one of them is going to get lice. Not one of them is going to get the Asian flu or whatever. Why is it everybody's kids go out and they're playing all summer long and, and they go back to school in the, in the fall? It's getting to be school time almost everywhere. A, a friend of mine, we, we took their kids shopping for school clothes yesterday. So school's right around the corner. And what's going to happen when all the kids who have been running around with their couple of friends for the whole summer go to school, and there's 40 kids in that class, 35 kids in that class. Oh, someone's coming home with a cold. Someone's going to get a sniffle. Somebody is going to pass a bug on because it's a natural thing. It happens. And if you don't think for one minute that doesn't happen with cows, if you don't think for one minute that doesn't happen with pigs, sheep, goats, chickens, you bumped your head, Nick. That is the biggest issue in factory farming, the amount of antibiotics that are used. Where are you getting your information, dude? Everything you said in your video is a lie. It's a lie. It's a propaganda piece for the industry. I find it ironic that somebody from Canada, quote unquote, I'm from Canada, I only know about Vermont's labeling law. We don't do this up here. No, all your canola is GMO canola. The oil is crap. The issue with the factory farming and Donald Trump and the, uh, you just had to go down that road, didn't you? Farmers are saying just the opposite of what you said. The big issue with our farming products, it has glyphosate in it and countries don't want the poison. As to the regulation, the Monsanto trial this past week, the guilty verdict came in. It proves our EPA, our USDA, and our FDA have serious problems because they have been purchased. This little deal I showed you folks with, uh, 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 with that water. Those lemons soaked overnight in the water. The reason they soak overnight, I'm assisting a friend. Unfortunately, she has an allergy to marijuana, and we can't suppress nausea with marijuana. The lemons suppress nausea. But when they ate the lemon, there was a chemical reaction because of what was on the lemon. So they have to be soaked and washed overnight. We, we, we soak, just soak them in water and, and, and wash them off. They spray everything. Again, farming is not something that is supposed to be done on an international level. Sorry, it's not. It's not. It was never designed that way. It, farming was something that you do in an area to feed the people in the village, in the town, or whatever. I understand the big misconception there that we need to feed all the people in the world when you have cities like Quebec and Montreal, and they have millions of people living in them. If there's no food source, those people are going to leave. What happens if all the grocery stores run out of food in your hometown, Nick? You're still going to live it? Well, you, you and Daddy have a Monsanto farm, so you can grow your own food. I forgot about that. Yeah, I could be wrong about them having a quote-unquote Monsanto farm. But they're vested in the GMO industry, ladies and gentlemen, and that is my point. I'm not vested in nobody. I'm going to tell you a little story about the farmer's market yesterday. I went to the farmer's market, and I cut a little video at the market. I went around asking people if they had heard. At first, I started asking just, uh, 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 I just asked, uh, I was just going to ask the vendors, okay? And then... After about three responses, and especially the third response, when the vendor said, we can't talk about that. We're not allowed to talk about that. I decided to ask customers of the market. So what do I got? 15, 17. I have 17 people that said no, 
and only six people that said yes to this question. So I want you to think about that for a minute. That's a, a three to one ratio, just about, just about. The question was, for the past six weeks, a trial has been going on in San Francisco, California, involving Monsanto. Are you familiar or have you heard about this trial? That was the question. I wasn't asking anybody to take a side or anything. That was the question. 17 said no. Six said yes. One person even volunteered and said he felt his brother died from the exposure because he developed cancer after they started using the Roundup Ready products. They don't use them anymore. They've gone organic. Uh, one, uh, I, this, is a, this is a farmer's market. I've traveled all around the country covering farmer's markets, folks. This is farmer's market. says, no, you're anti-GMO. You can't cover our market. That's per the market manager. Kaylee Dick says, no, you're anti-GMO. And I'm telling you right now, the meat guy I talked to at this farmer's market, <clears throat> he's using GMO grains, folks. Check yesterday's video out. <clears throat> Very enlightening. But what I found more enlightening was I was talking to a guy, because I'm working on a story that I'll, I'll be talking about later today uh, on Weekend Wrap for Property Preservation. I'm talking to a gentleman yesterday on the phone about property preservation, and I real quick tell him about the, what's going on at the market. I said, yeah, you know what? I'm in Springfield right now, and I'm on my way to another market in the Ozarks to uh, 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 talk to the people there. I, I, I want to get a feel for this. I said, I, I could just imagine what would happen if I'm at ground zero. There's so much animus. Uh, what would happen if I was in St. Louis? Would the animus uh, uh, about this subject be the same as it is here in Springfield? You know, St. Louis is 400 miles away or 200 or something. I don't know. It's a, it's a ways from here. But that's where Monsanto is, of course, you know. And this guy, <clears throat> when I said something about the trial, this guy next to me kind of started pretending like he was fiddling around in his vehicle. And, and I kind of noticed he had been in my shadow. Why? I don't know. Kind of creepy, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not that good looking, uh, you know, uh, for any homosexual to want to follow me around or something. So I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm just kind of, eh, I'm talking to my buddy. My friend comes. She she goes to get in the car, and, and he's, like, trying to get in his car. So he says, excuse me, and then he just stands there. And I hang the phone up. Hey, I got to run, man. Uh, I got, we, we, we got to go to the next stop. And, and as soon as I hang the phone up... Excuse me, what, what are you trying to get people to sign up for? That was his question to me. I said, I'm not getting people to sign up for anything. I'm just asking him a question. Oh, what's the question? So I ask him the question. And with the little shit-eating, smirky grin, the little smarmy smuck. Well, I've never heard of Monsanto. Who's that? I said, you live in Missouri, sir? He goes, yes, I do. I said, you're full of shit. Everybody in Missouri knows Monsanto. Some of the vendors were seriously afraid to talk to me, ladies and gentlemen. That should tell you something about farming in the United States of America. Nick, sorry to bang you like that, dude, but everything you said is a lie. Look in the description, ladies and gentlemen. Links to all of this are there. Nick, have a great day. Hey, I hope all's well up in Canada, dude. Tell your dad I said hi. Love you guys both. You know I do. You know I do. That's what communication's all about. That's what our First Amendment's all about. Same in Canada, folks. We get to speak our piece, and we do it. I try to be respectful. I'm not trying to, to say Nick's a bad guy. I'm just saying he's incorrect about what he put out. Link's in the description, folks. Links are in the description. Tune in later. Tune in later. Weekend wrap, we're going to talk about some uh, uh, stuff, some problems going on over there in that industry. Of course, Weekend Wrap will be brought to you by the Merkin Group down in Florida. This is coming to you, Alliday Mobile Media, coming to you, courtesy Foothill Feet and Mercantile. They're in the Reno, Nevada area. They have non-GMO and organic feed for your animals. Give them a call. They're located at 1330 Geiger Grade in South Reno. They're on the way to Virginia City. Cool town. Cool town it is. 775-852-0999. Uh -uh. Tell the girls. Tell Shannon I said hello. They'll love you. And they'll get you squared away. Can't be growing a pig with a third eye, can we now? 
Let's have a great day, folks. Let's all be safe out there, huh?